When we began our story, the family band, Alice met Joe, her mail order beau, for the first time. Joe, a Republican, locked horns with Alice's grandfather, an outspoken Democrat. We've had almost a tidal wave of shiftless, irresponsible Democrats moving in. A bunch of shysters and quacks and usury-type moneylenders. And if we don't do something about it soon, they'll have us outnumbered. Well, let me tell you something, young man. You're trumping in the flat tune on a worn-out horn. The Bauer family decided to follow Joe and settle in the Dakota Territory, where Grandpa struck up a sour note by playing a Democratic song at a Republican rally. Find the odd sense of humor. Come to a statehood rally in Dakota and sing about Grover Cleveland. You all in the streets here, do you? No. Keep them reserved just for speeches by Republicans? <laughs> I kind of thought this was a free country. And Grandpa bet Joe a wheelbarrow ride on the outcome of the presidential election. All right, Mr. Barr, I'll take you up on that. In the meantime, Alice had been hired to teach in the town's only school. Alice, there's been a little problem come up. It's a technicality, really, about your credentials. The school board wants to meet with you and ask you a few questions before you start teaching. Grandpa was delegated to dismiss the children, but gave what he thought was a lesson in free speech. These folks from, from Lincoln's own party they wants to divide up Dakota, the north from the south. Just don't make sense. Grandpa's speech jeopardized Alice's job. I figured if Alice knowed enough to teach him for a whole year, I knowed enough to teach him for one day. But that's just the point. You didn't teach them. Joe, you got please. them cornered in the schoolhouse, apparently, and then you delivered a political oration about not dividing Dakota, right? About making it one state? Well, it ought to be one state. And if you had a lick of brains in your head, you'd see it for yourself. Grandpa, that's enough. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bell. With Grandpa's politics threatening to pull his family apart, we now begin part two of the family band. to do with my family. Just let me handle it. Look, it, it isn't just about your family. That's a public school. I know. I also know that you don't know Grandpa the way I do. He... You got to say one thing for Grover Cleveland. He listens to the mandate of the people. Ah, that's politics. That's statesmanship. <laughs> Witness a sports spectacular that has Donald Duck entering a bizarre bout. An exclusive football scoop with Goofy. Plus the latest ice hockey moves with Huey, Dewey and Louie on The Wonderful World of Disney. You've asked for it and now it's on the way. Australia's favourite cartoon family are coming back. They're The Simpsons with all new episodes returning soon to 10. And stay with us now for Sequest DSV. Thank you. 